Oh my god, I wasn't even recording. <laughs> wasn't even recording. <laughs> Let's start that again. Hey, hello gamers and gameritas. Now, I consider myself well fortunate, super lucky, and I am just so excited every day that I get to wake up and I get to go off to my job in the video game industry. I've been within video games for about two to three years now, and along the way, I have collected a number of goodies and trinkets and little bits and bobs. And I just thought, you know, for people who aren't inherently within the video game industry, I thought it might be quite interesting to know the types of things you get from launch parties and press events and from PR companies and stuff like that. I just thought it would be a little bit of an interesting insight into the world. Like this hoodie, for example. My ex-colleague kind of did a, a favor for someone about the watchdogs campaign or whatever and she came over and was like got some hoodies do you want a hoodie I was like, yeah i'll have a hoodie this is just my collection of video game stuff let's go we are running away me and my friend stephanie from this yeti rabid monster and this was at the uh, most recent insomnia gaming festival and as you can probably tell it's in front of a green screen and that's why luigi's cap as you can see has disappeared into the sky next up is one of the probably most proudest moments of my entire life getting to go to the bafta game awards like what absolutely crazy and this is just a little memento this was the program from the event such an amazing atmosphere and a great night to just celebrate gaming and as you can see we've got the artistic achievement award here and there are games like abzu and dishonored 2 and many many more amazing games next up we have my moo business cards i'm so proud of these business cards man Vinny created the vault girl avatar that we all know and love and nico created the branding so the whole logos design and the yellow and the blue i just really like them i think it's quite minimal but pretty cool ah i love this picture so much you might recognize this lovely lady standing to the right of me so this is rosie caddick aka professor juice if you don't know her what you're doing with your life because she's hilarious and the best person ever we bought matching playstation hoodies because that's how much we love playstation oh baby now this i am proud of this is my pop vinyl figures wall my collection is no way near as big as some people's but it has my absolute favorite characters from my favorite franchises we've got the little sister from Bioshock, we've got Siri from The Witcher 3, we've got Nancy from Stranger Things, we've got King from Tekken. They're all like the absolute bomb. I'll only buy pop vinyl figures if I inherently just adore that character. So there you go. Oh, also you can see Wolfenstein 2 on the desk there. I still don't play that game. What am I doing? Now next to the Joy Pop vinyl, I know it's like the best pop vinyl ever, we have this stress heart. But of course you might recognize it as the heart from Dishonored, but it's actually like a stress ball. So you can squeeze it when you're stressed. I mean, whoever came up with that as a merchandise idea, literally kudos to you oh it's the napkin from bethesda land so at e3 2017 bethesda of course held their own conference but before the conference they had a massive fairground full of all of their different games so this was in the dishonored 2 section and they had some like uh, food stalls and there was just a big packet of napkins on the side literally everything was bethesda branded and i just had to steal a napkin because you know why not this is a shiny silver reflective slip complete with the whole cd project red team and next to that we have the insert for bethesda land this was actually on the other side there was a map of the whole bethesda land but this side contains little squares of um, all of their games we've got old squads we've got doom and each section of the fairground as well had its own pin. Unfortunately, I didn't get round to all of the fairground zones, but I got a few of the pins. I got about five in total, so that's pretty good. This is probably the coolest thing Tesco have ever done. They did a Fallout branded box filled with a bobblehead and a bottle opener and a t-shirt and loads of cool stuff. And it was literally only about 15 pounds. Yes, I own a PlayStation fidget spinner come at me now this is a little section which obviously has no monetary value at all but it's all the wristbands that i've collected over the years from various events 
this is probably one of the most cherished things that I own, a custom Spyro PlayStation 1 controller. It does have its own console as well, I just snipped off the controller because I wanted to keep it with me at all times. So cool! Thanks what up Nico, you are a star. And behind here just quickly I've got my own hail fail Lego figure that was created by one of my colleagues back at game. So cute! Carrying on the pop vinyl tradition, we've got a couple of the Fallout gang up there. We have got a Super Mutant, we've got Vault Boy, and we've got the Lone Wanderer, who I literally think is me in the middle. That is me. I'm, I'm saying that's me. <laughs> and then just below there, look at this guy! We've got a Spyro plush! Now, I had no idea that these even existed. One of my ex-colleagues at work was leaving, and they were clearing out their desk, and they were like, oh, I've got this Spyro, do you want it? And I was like, yes! <laughs> Hey, it's Geralt. How are you doing, Geralt? And that right there, Gamers and Gamer Eaters, is my very first E3 pass. The memories it cherishes will be within my heart forever. Hey, Super Mario Odyssey. I got this when I went to visit Charles Martinet, the voice actor for Mario, and what a guy he is. And then we've got a bobblehead Vars, of course, from Far Cry 3. Next to Vars, we've got a ratchet keyring. Again, we've got some more Fallout characters. And from Insomnia Gaming Festival that we saw right back at the start, it's the Luigi Cup but I stole it and I graffitied it. And here is another memento from Bethesda Land. This is Nuka-Cola Quantum, and it was once upon a time full of blueberry lemonade. My God, that was good. And even the cap has some wisdom. It says, make the right choice, not the easy one. This is really cool. This is my first magazine appearance. This was at the Destiny 2 gameplay premiere, I believe in London. And uh, this is in MCV Magazine, which is a video game industry magazine. Super proud. Hey, it's me and Tom, again, at Insomnia Gaming Festival. Um, looking well cool. Ah, so here we go, I was talking about those pins before from Bethesda Land, we've got a Corvo one right down at the bottom, we've got a Vault Boy next to it, I've got a couple of others as well but you can't see them here, and I've got a PlayStation Access lanyard and I have no idea why. A hmm. couple of really cool art cards from Fallout 4, the one and only Babe Yennefer from The Witcher 3. God damn, that woman is gorgeous. Continuing with the statues, we've got Pagan Min from Far Cry 5 voiced by my one and only husband, Troy Baker. At E3 2017, there was a PlayStation merch stand outside, which is where I got this exclusive Aloy plushie. And she's so cute. Right at the back there, you can see the Vault Boy bobblehead, which was back in the Tesco little box thing. And it's well sturdy. It's pretty heavy as well. And it's huge. I salute you, Vault Boy. And right next to him is Mini Vault Boy. Ah, oh, it's a Vault Boy family. One of the funniest, freakiest moments of my life, the Resident Evil experience in London. Oh my god, that place. It had the actual characters of the game in the house, and I ate a real life cricket. Good times. Good times. So there we go, those were the things and bits and bobs and stuff that I've collected over the years from video games. What was your favorite thing? Let me know in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> hey, well done. I'm making it all the way to the end of this video. Aren't you a little cherub? Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. <coughs> oh, anyway, I know you are usually tempted to click away at the end of these kind of videos. Like, you're like, ah, oh, the video's done. I've seen the content. Now they're just going to try and sell me something. I'm going to go. But don't go, because this is actually really cool. This is a cool thing, guys. And I know you like cool things. So I've teamed up with the guys at insertcoinclothing.com to bring you 20% off. They've even got mugs now. They've got mugs, they've got socks, not to mention a bazillion t-shirts, all video game related. It's really rather groovy. So if you want to get 20% off, use the code LHFIC20. Yeah, I know, it's a bit of a weird code, but nah, I don't make the rules. 